okay day to day life uh, one example that you you may have seen uh, a vending vending machine coffee or tea vending machine coffee or tea vending machine so in that machine you may have seen let, let's consider there are two buttons one button is for the coffee and another button is for the tea okay there are two buttons one button is for the tea and one button is for the coffee and there is one more one slot where you have to put 5 rupees coin okay now when you press coffee button the coffee button will send a signal of 1 when you press a t button it will send a signal of 1 and when you put a 5 rupees coin inside this slot the sensor will sense 5 rupees is added into slot and it will send a signal of 1 so there are three inputs in this case and this machine have to take a decision what should be delivered through this pipe okay so if you have a cup cup below this pipe so whether coffee should be dispensed or tea should be dispensed that decision have to taken by the machine and in this case we the logic gates are very useful okay and let's see how so i will prepare one by one so there are three inputs first let's consider is coffee second let's consider is the coin input and third is the tea so if coffee and coin that means coffee button is pressed and coin is entered then the machine should deliver coffee so we will use and gate so what this and gate will do it when it will receive coffee one and coin one signal then coffee will be dispensed so coffee will be dispensed now same way if coin is entered and t button is pressed then we have same and gate okay t will be dispensed two and gates are used so but there is a problem some of the customer may mistakenly or purposefully press these two buttons together and it they will enter the uh, add the 5 rupees coin so at that in that case what the machine should do that that uh, possibility also be studied so what we will do we will add one one more gate that is nand gate okay so it will take a input from the coffee and tea it will check that whether both the uh, buttons are pressed together and it will take a decision so when both the buttons are pressed and coin is also entered then this nand gate will receive 1 1 and it will produce a output of 0 and it will take a input from this t and this two together one more and gate and this 0 and this 1 it will produce 0 so it will not dispense any uh it will not dispense the tea but uh, this coffee will be dispensed so for the possibility of the both the buttons are pressed that is coffee and tea button is pressed we have added one nand gate okay what the nand gate will do nand gate will check whether both the coffee and tea button are pressed then it will not dispense tea okay but coffee will be dispensed when both the buttons are pressed so uh, machine have to take only one decision that is uh, dispense one coffee otherwise tea so see when coffee and tea buttons are pressed the nand gate will receive 
one one and it will produce a zero output already the coin is entered so this and gate will produce one output so this one and this zero will produce zero output so no t is dispensed but at the same time coffee and coin one one signal and copy will be dispensed so if the customer mistakenly press both the buttons and enter coin then he will get coffee when the customer press only these two buttons but he did not entered coin so you can see coffee 1 coin 0 this and gate will produce 0 no coffee coin 0 and t1 this and gate will produce 0 so no t no coffee no t when only these two buttons are pressed and coin is not entered so the signal from all the three inputs is very much important to take important to take a decision this is how the uh, gates are used you can use the gates uh, many uh, ways okay so i hope you understood the logic gates and it's a one simple example and uh, if you like the video please give a thumbs up and uh, uh, share this video and subscribe thank you